Hello people, Freeman here. Today I just want to talk about like Gaijin's biggest mistake they ever made. And that's adding a uh, MPT at the World War II BR. With an auto cannon of all weapons. And now this new vehicle, well it's not that new, it's actually it's been 3 months. Is destroying everything from heavy tanks to medium tank and planes and country, even the in infamous M18. And the funny thing is, it's at Italy. It's at the Italy BR of 5.0. And that's the Leopard 40 slash 70. It's pretty insane. You can see from the footage, it's zooming along, side shooting while on high speed, and surprisingly stable and also survivable. I'm sure you guys saying that this thing is survivable. It's made of paper. Yeah, it's made of paper, and that's why the rounds like the Tiger and the Panther or the American tank, the main cannons by the way, will not detonate at all. If you don't know, we have a mechanic called Fuse Sensitivity. It simply means it needs a certain amount of armor to detonate a shell. So it's gonna, if I'm gonna use like a Tiger 1H as an example. It has a fuse sensitivity of a 14 millimeters of armor, meaning if it hits the Leo 40-70, at the turret, where it only has like 7 or 8 millimeters of armor, the bullet will just pass through and go the other way. Meaning, the round will not detonate and it will not instantly die. But in the other hand, if the Leo gets hit where majority of ammo is stored at the hole of the tank, at the middle of the hole, it will kill the driver, but the majority of ammo is there again, as I say before, it will detonate the tank and will kill the tank. So what happened is, because the... The way the World 100 player works, they see the, the threat and they aim usually at the gun. Because they want to take out the gun so they can destroy you. And that's like the safest way of going after a certain vehicle. But for the Leo, it's not. To kill the Leo, you have to just destroy the hole as soon as possible. That's where your maneuverability kicks in. Like, Le all Leos are pretty fast, right? And using your speed like of 65 kilometers forward and backward speed of 25 kilometers. You can just fire and run or dodge or whatever, and they can't hit you, especially at this PR. Like, you're literally an MBT with an auto can. So, and you're like, uh, for, funny enough, you're, you're Italian, so technically you should be called MBT Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, I made a little bit of a joke. And with the ability to shoot while moving, a good tactic is just to destroy the enemy tank tracks, run or guess their guns if you can, bend them in the front. You can see that a couple of times I do this in the footage. Like, I just go for the tracks, go for the gun, and just run away if I can't you know, finish them off. But your biggest weakness in my experience playing this tank has been fighting US tanks. And we know why. Everybody knows why we have such a hard time killing US tanks. It's because of those damn 50 cals. Those 50 cals, majority of the time, will just kill your crew at the top. Since you only have one driver at the hole, meaning everyone at the top is dead, you're dead. It's game over. Compare that to the German player. Like, what does a German have? The German have like a MG34, I believe. That's their machine gun. And that machine gun, they, they don't penetrate good enough. So, and your crew have some armor at the top. Some. Not a lot. Some. They can get lucky and might, might shoot your crew down. But it, it takes a longer for them. Compared to a 50 cal. Now, moving to the weapon of the Leopard 40-70. It comes with a 40mm cannon. It has a decent fire rate. With 0.5 seconds, long as your crew is alive, long as your, all of your crews at the top is alive, they have like a 0.5 seconds reload speed. And you can fire, I believe, four rounds before they need to reload. And for the rounds that it fires, it has a 95 millimeters of pen. If you take a complete armor piercing belt, and mature times, you're gonna have to flank the enemy to destroy them, especially the Tigers and the IS 1s. For the Panthers and uh, for the uh, T-34s, for the T-34s, you can actually aim for the turret ring. But for the uh, uh, the Panther, it is a uh, if or a maybe if you keep aiming at the uh, the breach of the tank. But majority time, what I like to do is just take out the gun, rush the tank, and go to the side and finish them off. That's what you should do with every vehicle, including the Tiger. But for like the, uh, the IS-1s or the IS-2, those are going to be a little bit tricky. Because, you know, the way the armor is, the Russian bias armor is designed. But for the IS-2, just aim for the gun. For the IS-1, it's going to be a smaller target, but you still have to aim for the gun to destroy it. Then move at the side to finish it off. That's where the majority of the gameplay of the Leopard the leopard is, is to flank. You're like an ambush predator. Use your speed to maneuver 
go ahead of your whole like go ahead of your teammates take cheesy spots wait for the enemies and jump on them where they least expect and then just finish them off that's what i did i just rushed in if you know how the maps are designed of Warton and you know where the enemies usually go to, you can set up ambush position. And in my experience of playing Warton for seven or eight years now, it's always been like people have a mindset. They have a mindset where they want to go, what they want to do, and that's what they do every single time. Like it's a routine. Imagine you wake up in the morning. What do you do in the morning routine? You brush your teeth, you drink your coffee, and you eat your sandwich. And that same goes for War Thunder players. They do the same thing over and over. They might change a bit, but that's the same thing. And there's one more important tip I just want to say. The Jumbos, the Tigers, and the Panthers, even the T-34s. I would recommend everybody aim at the lowest hole of a tank. Where the tracks are. Where the tracks are, that's where the weakest armor is, people. That's where the weakest armor is. And if you're playing this Leopard and you want to like instantly pen them without any nonsense of angling of armor. You aim for the, the lower plate. The lower plate is the weak spot. Overall, I want to say about the Leopard, it's a pretty fun tank, unique, and and the best thing at all. It's an MBT at fighting World War II BR vehicle. Like, that, that's actually a good reason to grind Italy, I would say. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.